So nervines is basically an umbrella term for herbs that work on the nervous system. However, we might have 40 different herbs that work on the nervous system, but how they do this is going to differ from herb to herb. So it's really important to understand the different categories of nervines. So the first category of herbal nervines is going to be our nervine tonics or trophor restoratives. And I think these might be one of the most important categories. I sure use them the most with clients and just with my own practice. Um, and so these are herbs that are rebuilding and restoring the nervous system. A couple herbs in this category would be skullcap, milky oat seed, and St. John's wort. And so these herbs need to be used for a long period of time because they're for that person that has been enduring long-term stress to the point of nervous system exhaustion. The second group of nervines is going to be our relaxant nervines. So these are the nervines that kind of give you that feeling of instant relief from the symptoms of anxiety and stress or say you've had a really chaotic day you're about to go perform um, and you just need something to settle the nervous system so that's where these herbs can come in a couple herbs in this category that i'm sure you've heard of is lavender and chamomile our third category of nervines is going to be our hypnotic nervines. So these are the herbs that are going to put you to sleep. They're mildly mind altering as well as relaxing the muscles in most cases like with kava kava. A couple of other really good herbs in this category is poppy as well as valerian. Fourth category of nervines is going to be our nervine stimulants. And so, this is a group of nervines that I don't find people really need that often um, because these are stimulating the nervous system. So, if you already have a really depleted system, this isn't going to be very helpful. Um, can actually send you an overdrive a little bit. So, these are not to be used long term. Um, coffee is a, a nervine stimulant. So a lot of the herbs in these different categories are going to also fall in multiple categories categories like skullcap is a great nervous system tonic but also relaxant. Some categories of herbs I love pairing with our nervines is going to be our nootrophic so things that are working on brain function, um, our bitters especially if it is depression as well as our adaptogens, especially with those nervine tonics and trophor restoratives. So understanding the different types of nervines is gonna be really helpful when you are trying to choose the best nervine for you. 